I almost trashed this project and called it a failure. But then something happened. Here on Jar Planet, we make self-sustaining ecosystems inside of sealed jars. I'm at Norfolk Lake in Arkansas. When making ecospheres, I love incorporating as many natural elements as possible. There is so much driftwood here and I have to put some of it to use. What do you think? For the jar to stay, I'll have to attach it by using some trusty silicone. I siliconed all five points that contacted the jar. Of course, it wasn't but a few minutes later when the jar fell and broke to pieces. It's the next day and our second jar is dry and ready to go. We finally made it back to the lake, but at this point, I'm a little worried. There are no aquatic plants and hardly any algae. When making ecospheres, I always try and incorporate those two because having them is essential in supporting life. After some hunting, I found this algae covered rock. If you would like to see a video on how to make an ecosphere, I'll put a link in the top right corner. Once I'm happy with everything I could get in the jar, I fill it with water and seal it up. And here the jar has been sitting for over a month. And today I was planning on throwing it out and calling it a failure until I saw this. This worm looking thing is a leech. As disgusting as it may be, this leech gave me the hope enough to share this project with you. When the jar is filled with water, it will fall over. I'll have to cut it away from the driftwood stand. If you're enjoying this project, don't forget to subscribe. We post videos just like this every week on Jar Planet. There are several species of leeches in North America, but this is my first one to find in a jar. Not all leeches suck blood. Some stick to smaller prey like snails and other insect larvae. If you can identify this leech, please let me know in the comments. There are other things living in our jar too. I've seen two species of snails. I've also seen lots of copepods and this small larva. The truth is not all ecospheres work and it is very difficult to make a successful, long-lasting ecosphere. I am no professional and I don't want to pretend to be, but I am dedicated to finding a way to make a fully self-sustaining ecosystem. I have lots of ideas and plans you won't want to miss. However cool it may be to find life inside our forgotten ecosphere, this system won't last long term. Now would be a great chance to turn this into a jarrarium. A jarrarium is an aquarium inside of a jar. Since the snails probably had nothing left to eat, I removed them and put them in a quarantine tank that I use for wild plants. I removed the wood because it looked a little bit rotten, and I added several aquatic plants to keep the water stable. I also did a water change. I have to keep this jar sealed when I'm not around. Believe it or not, the leech will crawl out. Even though this project did not go according to plan, I learned a lot and I enjoyed the journey. I may add other things to this jar later down the road. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, I know you'll like this one next.